Hey YouTube. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be one of those videos that no one's going to like. And I don't really care. So, um, all the what ratings are going to be disabled because the people I'm talking about have a few fanboys. I just call them politely fanboys. And no, you don't get to come over and just break the video down. If you want to tell me you're not happy with me, you're going to have to type just the way it is. Anyhow, um, lately there have been some people um, who feel that it is appropriate to advise me and advise my collaboration partners what's appropriate to post and what's appropriate to talk about. Um, the people who have been doing this lately have a few things in common. Let's see if you can spot them. First up, contestant number one, he happens to be a middle-aged white man. Coughlin, come on down. Oh, in here. So fuck you. Right? You're done with you. Your word means nothing. And to be honest with you, this is really the point I want you all to get through your head. Because as soon as I sent that tweet out, I started getting PMs from people on my accounts. Telling me, like, how can you block me? I'm just trying to defend myself against the words of the evil words. And I get messages on Skype saying, we didn't start this. I want you all to know this. Right? Get this through your head. I do not care. I don't give a shit. In fact, this is really what I need to tell you. Because I don't think you understand this. Right? Nobody, nobody gives a shit. Okay, yeah. Um... Coughlin. I'm going to point out that back in the beginning of this video, he went through and said all the people that he blocked, and he mentioned some people that he didn't block. Snow Walker, William Cartno, and Smiling Skeptic, because he kind of likes those guys. They're all guys, by the way. I just thought that was interesting. Anywho, um, this clip I found particularly annoying because it's him implying that he's a little more important than he actually is. He's saying that he has all these people, it sounds like they're on both sides of the disagreement, tripping and falling over themselves to explain themselves to him. Which, the people on my side of this issue with fucking Felita, were, they're my friends. I talk to them on a daily basis. Okay. We have not been contacting you, Coughlin. Actually, the fact that you blocked me, if you even actually did block me, I didn't go and test it or anything. Um, if a couple friends of mine hadn't pointed out to me that you made this video, I would have never found out that you blocked me. That's how much you matter to me. So, while you're making this video and making it sound like you're all kinds of important to us and we're we're falling over ourselves to explain ourselves to you, I, I wish you would have just gone ahead and said who's doing that. You know, if you have proof that anyone on this side of the disagreement has contacted you at all for that, um, please do provide it. I contacted you one time outside of just other people wanting to reach you. And that was to say, yeah, we're having a bit of a disagreement. Please stay out of it. That is it. One message, probably about two lines, back in February or January sometime. That's how important your opinion on this has been to me. So, yeah, you're kind of full of shit. Just saying. Um, now it may be kind of difficult for some people to fathom, but, um... YouTube celebrities just don't impress me. They just don't. And that's mostly because when it comes to these guys that they, uh, they have had the time to make themselves important on YouTube, it's really hard for me to imagine that you don't live in your mother's basement. I mean, that may not be true, but it's just hard for me to respect that. It just is. I don't know any grown men who have time all like that. So, yeah, your opinion, less than, less than matters. Sorry to burst your bubble. All right, contestant number two. He is also a middle-aged white man. Edible napalm of 
boogie napalm or whatever napalm you're calling yourself now, come on down. You know, myself, Coughlin, others have fucking told you not to bring up the fucking Riff Felina fucking drama. But you know what? You keep fucking doing it. You keep saying you're not going to fucking do it. And this goes directly to you fucking Zerota. I fucking put in the PMs you sent me say you would never fucking bring this shit up ever fucking again. And that the second time... Okay. Yeah. He and Coughlin and others... He and Coughlin and those others, they have some things in common. I'm just going to bring that up again. But, um, um, Napalm, you're yelling at my friend Zero and saying that he broke a promise or something, and he didn't. Someone used a clip from, a, and yeah, I know what you're fucking pissed about, and I'm pretty sure I probably know why you're pissed about it, but, um, Zero didn't say anything. Someone used a clip from somebody else's video to make a new video, and you're yelling at him for it. Fuck you, Napalm. Seriously. Um. It just. And. I know that it probably isn't my place to say, and and maybe there was no reason for me to have watched this video other than that you bring up Alliance with Demons and therefore everyone sends it to me. Um, if you're going to make a video and, and address us in the future, it would be really, really fucking awesome if you would wear a shirt. That would be appreciated. Just saying. Alright, um...